gentlemen heading on in I know right transformer waiting to get in I like it line outside this way we'll just start walking around uh oh look at all the big ones do you oh my Oh man, this is bad. <laughs> this is cool, man. Steiner Brothers, I didn't even see them. Really? Nice. I'm just glad we're finally in here, man. I like the lighting. Oh, that's the X Pac wrestler. Let's just walk the outside edge quick. Some neat stuff in here. See anything you like? Well, been in Astronomic Con maybe 10 minutes. We've already looked at a few booths, having a good time. Boys are digging it. Of course I am. Got the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man over there. Oh, Landon, your dude's right in front of us. That dude's awesome. You rock, my man. That was awesome. You guys having fun? Let's walk down this aisle. So much to look at. Love it. Let's go down over here. Look at all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that cool Jurassic Park on the top. Godfather, WWE Hall of Famer, legend. Wherever you want to look, dude.
Oh, that's cool, man. That's awesome for dinostroll.com. That's awesome. But stop, man. <laughs> I think you should, dude. Stop wherever you wish. Well, we've been lapping the Astronomicon here for just under an hour. Boys have both spent a little bit of money. Uh, having a good time, lots of people here, an amazing vibe, awesome atmosphere. We have uh, wrestlers, we have actors, we have dinosaurs. Um, it's just a hell of a good day so far. Boys are having a lot of fun. I am too, I enjoy walking around this thing. If I turn around, if you see behind me, like right up over in there, there's a dinosaur. There's a real dinosaur, okay, not real. Real enough. But yeah, awesome time so far here. Look at that pretty face. That's a pretty face right there. Oh, I love it. Dinostroll.com, guys. Check them out. Sure, let's look down here. Look at the Back to the Future set. That's, That's cool. Tiger. And look at, oh, 50th Mickey. Oh, I'm so close on that, but I can't. I'll be there in two weeks. I have to wait. Got some cool pops. It's like one of a kind. That's awesome. Down here? Oh, comics, all right. Well, take a look, man. You look at the comics, dude. You see the pops on the top shelf, Holden? Packed parking lot and astronomic comes the wrap for this year, gentlemen. All right, so downtown Vassar, as you can see out the window, yeah, look at all the life happening there. Okay, actually, not a lot going on today. Here at Chan and Moon, gonna get some new ink. I'm really excited about this. Sarah's gonna be doing some stuff I wanted to do for a while now. Finally got around to pull the trigger on it, figure. Hey, before this life-changing trip, might as well uh, have something cool to go down south with. So looking forward to that. There's Sarah. Hi, beautiful. We're going to go over in that chair in just a couple moments, and we're going to rock this thing out. Ah, oh, look at that, you guys. Look at that. It's coming along. We are finishing up, working on palm tree number three, aren't we there, Miss Sarah? Yep. All right. By the way, guys, if you didn't meet her earlier, that's Sarah doing some excellent work. Like, very, very excellent work there. So, uh, what got you into tattooing, by the way? I never asked. Um, I just like to draw art, okay. painting. So, you're one of them artistic kind of people. Yep. Nice, nice. Very cool. See, I don't have very much artistic ability. I draw a stick figure, and it looks like they have scoliosis. So, it's not very good. <laughs> and that's the truth, too. If I drew a stick figure, it would look jacked up really bad. So we just have to fix it. <laughs> well, you know what? You might be able to because I'm horrible at drawing. I mean, I can kind of sign my name in cursive, which is a plus, but that's about as far as I go. Right. You know, so uh, cool. Well, what made you want to open a shop? Uh, I didn't want to work for somebody. Amen. I think it's 
good. Like a shout out to all the female owned businesses. Yes. That's how I feel. So here it's all female. That's awesome. We do have all females here. So. Well, and let's be honest. Most of the time, y'all smarter, better looking. Uh, I could go on and on. So. I do know this one guy, his name's Bill. He's all right looking, but not really. <laughs> He's sitting behind the phone right now, so you can't see him. He showered today, though, and he looks pretty good, so. Oh, there he is now. Hey. He's just hanging out for a little bit, so. But yeah, just kind of getting uh, these palm trees done. Now, uh, I'm going to actually have Sarah tell you what is special about the small palm tree that she's doing. What's special about that, Miss Sarah? This small one we put um, actually your son's ashes into. Yes, my son Hudson that passed away in 07. He's got some ashes in this smaller palm tree here in the middle. I'll show it the whole thing better once uh, Sarah finishes up. But it's called a crematorium tattoo. If nobody I did not knows, know that. It does have a word for it. Yeah. Very cool. I did not know that, but I do now know that. <laughs> Valuable information to know. And I've talked to Sarah about doing some other work for me here down the road in the next probably couple months. So, yeah, this has been kind of getting ready for the trip coming up here, which I'm really looking forward to because I know I told you a little bit about it, but it's been like a really shit year, 18 months, you know? So, uh, time to kind of go back, find me again, find a little piece of happiness, do some things I wanted to do, and hopefully come back with a way different... Uh, a nice change of mind. How about that? I agree. Um, some, that sunshine. Oh, yeah. The vitamin D will be really, really nice, too. Some sunshine. Going to see some family and friends because, uh, lo and behold, most of my family, well, not most of my family, I should say, I have a really close <laughs> aunt and uncle down in Florida, but uh, most of my closest friends, 90% of them are Orlando. So, it'll be good to see them. I call them my brothers and sisters down there because they all are. So, I'll go heckle them for a few weeks, get some theme parks in. Might actually, uh, I'm going to do some things I've never done before, too, while I'm down there this time. I'm doing a, uh, a, a pizza eating competition. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be my buddy Robbie and I. There's a place uh, over by Universal Orlando. Two people can do it. You get one hour. It's a 10-pound, 30-inch pizza. If you win, the $50 pizza is free. You each get a T-shirt, your name and picture on the wall. We decided we're going to try it. So. Good luck. Yeah, I might, I, that might be towards the end of the trip because uh, I don't know if I'm going to want to eat a whole lot afterwards. He's so like, uh, day two. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's that's the whole thing. Well, I can't go to Disney today because I can't walk. I'm going to go to the beach right after all bloated. Oh, then I'll get all the ladies, won't I? They'll be like, wow, look at the walking whale. That'll be fun. Oh, God. It'll be great. So yeah, I'm just having a great time up here at Enchanted Moon. Again, this is just amazing. I cannot wait to show you guys the finished product here soon. It looks phenomenal already. So yeah, we are having a good time. And I'm sitting here, look at some of this cool artwork up on the wall. You should, what, tell me a little bit about the artist. How, is she cool? Yeah, she's yeah, awesome. Yeah, she's awesome, that's cool. She kind of comes out at two, three o'clock in the morning. Really? I, I like that. <laughs> Creepy yet elegant, yeah. so. Very, very cool. Well, yeah, man, you guys should stop by this shop. Check out all this cool stuff in here, man. It's good. Well, that's actually behind the counter if you're curious what that looks like. So we it's really nice. And they got snacks. And if you pay an extra $25, Bill will show up and sit in front of you and wave at you. Only 25 25 bucks. No autographs, no selfies. Okay. And that's cash, right? No check? Okay. We thought about getting him one of them little things that he could take credit card on his phone, but, you know. Yeah, no he doesn't want to do that. So cash only and no Canadian currency, okay? Don't ask. But pesos, oh, really? Pesos are accepted. There we go, too. Tacos work for a lot of things. So That's like an international currency. Yes. Actually, after uh, Astronomic Con this weekend, I took the boys to Del Taco down there. And they're like, Dad, this is kind of like cooler than Taco Bell. I'm like, yeah, because you can get a good cheeseburger, french fries, and great tacos. So. Right on. Just about anything's better than Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes Taco Bell just tastes amazing, though. Yes. But hey, at least we have one in Vassar now. Exactly. We have one in Vassar now. 30 years At, later. Yep, 30 years in the making. <laughs> I know. I can't wait to see what we get here when we're 70. It'll be great. We'll probably have Kmart by then. We're bringing back Kmart. Kmart we should. Back. <laughs> we we'll should definitely bring back Kmart. <laughs> I'd be all about that, man. I'd be all about that. 
Well, this is going awesome, dear. I am so thankful for you and your shop here in town. Looking absolutely amazing. Let's see, what cool things personal can I ask you? Hmm, I'm not going to ask you your age on camera because women love that. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm just trying to make weird comments right now. What? You just said your age? Holy Lord. She said her age. You shouldn't be. I'm 43. I'm an old man now. Next time I come in, do I get a senior discount? No, damn. I was hoping. I'm just waiting until I get that senior coffee one day. That'll be great. I'm going to go through every hour and get one. That's when you won't be able to taste it anymore. Exactly. That's why they do That'll it. That'll be it, too. Right? Right? Ah. See the fun you can have up here getting some ink? It's great. This is a great place, man. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this so we can have some more adult conversation. You don't want to know what we've talked about here. Um, but I will be back in a few and show you the finished product. The finished ink. The finished palm trees. And I say that because they're actually Finnish. They're from Finland. Get that joke? It's horrible. Ah! Check that out, huh? Sarah did amazing. That looked killer from what I can see upside down. So it looks wonderful. Um, well, I think you're a professional at palm trees now. Yeah. <laughs> she knocked that out.